It is uh, Stephanie Broxford, Stephanie with her list of president, dressage horse of the year. My favourite thing about dressage is the fact that when you've gone and done a really good test, you come out and you don't know your score because you love your horse and you may as well, you know, you've just won the Olympics in your eyes. And my least favourite is when I get my score. My name is Steph Croxford. I am 50 years old. I've been doing dressage for quite a while now. I have four horses, well, three horses and a pony. I can't possibly comment on that one anymore. I don't have a favourite horse. They're all equal, like my children. I got into dressage by mistake. I happened to go and buy a young horse. I thought he had a funny trot. I didn't realise at the time that was called Passage. So I then disappeared off and had a go at a couple of unaffiliated dressage tests and found that somehow we'd won and thought, God, this is easy. Um, then I realised that when I actually joined British Dressage and affiliated, it was a bit harder than I thought. Um, and that's how I fell into dressage, because that little chestnut uh, four-year-old happened to end up being Mr. President. He took me on such a journey. And we went from prelim to international Grand Prix in five years. And, and that's me not knowing what I was doing, him not knowing what he was doing. And we had an absolute ball. We traveled all over Europe. We did World Cups. We were long listed, you know, for Beijing. It was a wonderful moment in our lives. I am what I am because of Mr. President. No, I, you know, I'd be nothing without him. My horses definitely have different personalities. It's a bit like children. I mean, we, we call a uh, jurist, uh, it seems to now have the nickname Slug. Jurist's favorite pace is Halt, closely followed by Walk. And if you're really lucky, you might get a rain back. Anything else is just too much effort. Uh, Thug is the opposite. He is on a mission from the word go. He's like the charge of the light brigade. And you spend your entire life sitting there going, wait, just wait, can you wait for me? It's got, got this, I've got this mum. Oh God, no, I haven't got it. At which point we may as well just give up on the move because we're halfway around it and he doesn't know what he's doing. So, you know, they have strong personalities, but that's what makes them individuals. They're just, you know, if, if you know, they're almost, I get told by Richard that they're not human. You don't put human traits on them, but they're part of our family, they're part of our lives. I think if um, somebody's lost their confidence, I think the key thing is that you have to give yourself time. And I find that I suddenly think, six months down the line, I suddenly think, oh, I'm not scared about getting on the horse. So it happens without you realising that you're um, growing in confidence. It will take as long as it's gonna take for you to get your confidence back, but you've got to take your own steps at your own rate to improve that confidence. The dressage or, or the question uh, community Sometimes I just think it could do with just being a bit more supportive of each other. We're all very good at, and quick at criticising people when things go wrong, or probably a bit of a green-eyed monster when things are going right for people. I just think we need to be more supportive. What you see on people's Facebooks, and I'm just as guilty as anyone else, is you showing what you believe is the, the final picture, the, the most perfect picture that you can have or you can do. What you don't see is the 25 photographs or the 30 videos you did in order to get that one moment in time. And that isn't life. Life is about learning from things going wrong and bad experiences. And I think that's how you, the equestrian community needs to evolve and being supportive of people when things do go wrong.